problems one at a time here at uh, the news. Uh, and uh, yeah, what do you do? Well, we have a little snow that will be moving in here tonight into tomorrow. We're all the way up to 11 uh, temperature wise. Uh, calm conditions right now, so no wind chill. Uh, in Great Falls, we're looking at eight below zero. Yeah, that's the Arctic air mass right there. Little light northeast wind, seven miles per hour. That's nothing for Great Falls, but that's making a wind chill of 23 below zero. When you have air temperatures like this, a five, 10 mile per hour wind really creates a much, much colder wind chill value. And you can kind of see how the capital of Kalispell kind of in the middle of temperatures in the 20s, even almost 30 degrees uh, down there in Bozeman and at Livingston, but Lewistown below zero, Jordan below zero, below zero in Miles City. Uh, so this Arctic air mass is pushed in pretty much right up to the Continental Divide. Watches, warnings, advisories, we've got them. We've got a flood watch here for Cascade County, specifically in Great Falls, for the Missouri River here north of 10th Avenue South, where we've got this ice jam uh, that uh, could lead to some flooding along both sides of the river. A wind chill warning. Now, this is where wind chill values 40 to 50 below zero uh, here tonight into tomorrow. And this wind chill warning will go until five o'clock tomorrow afternoon and all of northern Montana down through the central part of the state, including Great Falls and Lewistown under a wind chill advisory until Thursday five o'clock. So we've got a few more days of this cold air. Winter storm warning continues here for the Rocky Mountain front 5000 feet and above. And of course, Marias Pass through Essex over through around uh, the Columbia Falls area. Uh, west side of Glacier picked up about three feet of snow here over the last uh, few days. Not uh, three feet of snow here on the radar right now, although uh, continuing to look at a few light flurries that are moving uh, through the capital area here. We've had some on and off snow showers through the day. A little more in the way of moisture will be moving in tonight and tomorrow here. Not a very big storm, uh, more in the way of snow further down towards our south and uh, west here. And a lot of the country is quieted down. The east coast had a big, uh, heavy storm with uh, tornadoes and severe weather and also a lot of ice into the northeast. That has since moved off the eastern seaboard. So here's what will happen in Montana. Clouds have already been increasing here through this afternoon. Areas of snow tonight into tomorrow morning. Light snow, a coating up to an inch or two. You could just brush that off your car pretty easily here. Note the snow showers that will continue through most of the day here tomorrow. So a fairly active day, but again, it's not going to pile up uh, where we've got feet of snow on the ground. Heading into Wednesday, clouds breaking up overnight Tuesday night into Wednesday, and the clear skies will allow those temperatures to really get cold. I think Wednesday morning may be the coldest morning of uh, this latest Arctic outbreak. Wednesday looking pretty nice sky condition wise, but it will be pretty chilly with temperatures still say, staying below zero in some parts of the state. So additional snowfall here through tonight into tomorrow. Notes in the lower elevations, talking just a coating up to an inch or two of accumulation here. Forecast for tonight, these are not the wind chill values. These are some pretty cold numbers. It's not 40 below, but near 20 below for places like Babb and Rudyard. Turner could actually hit 20 degrees below zero. Opime's at 19 below. Telegraph Creek, 12 below. Lewistown all the way down to 10 below zero. The capital, a couple of degrees, maybe below zero. Colder off towards the north and the east. Here's the forecast for tomorrow. This boundary will continue to separate much colder air off towards the north and the east from much warmer air. It still is in the 20s, but that's about 30 degrees warmer uh, on the other side of that front. High pressure, clear skies for Wednesday, still very cold. Getting into Thursday, a little warmer air. Lewistown up to 25, the capital up to 15, Missoula 35 degrees. And Friday, a weak area of low pressure will go through that should mix up the atmosphere enough that it will start to push some of that Arctic air out. And we will have a warmer weekend here. Temperatures up into the 30s which is not too shabby. A little light snow around the capital tonight into tomorrow, then Thursday night into Friday. Same goes for Great Falls. Great Falls is a little colder. The High Line colder than Great Falls, but just about everybody will warm up heading into this weekend. Yeah.